What's going on YouTube? GeoSnorite here. So in today's video I have even more great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 12. Pound to Own is making serious progress with Uncovered Jailbreak and he posted quote, Uncovered version 3.0.0 beta 28 was released with the Ventix exploit only for the iPad Air 2 and iPad mini 4 models for now. No Cydia or sub support yet. However, he is doing very good progress on that department as well because he posted after that quote, Cydia and sub support for iOS 12 will be released as soon as it is ready, public testing. We're working on it, please be patient. And then he followed it up with this, quote, what's left for the first public beta? Well, fix a bug in Core Trust workarounds, fix the sandbox patches, clean up the implementation, do more private testing to make sure that it's safe, and that is pretty much it. Now, speaking of Cydia and the substrate, he posted, quote, successfully got Twix running with Cydia substrate on iOS 12. So that is pretty big. This means that he pretty much managed to get the tweaks working on iOS 12 on any of the supported devices with the workarounds that he's currently using for Core Trust and so on. Now, these workarounds are a little bit controversial in the development community. Some developers believe that he can do better for the jailbreak, but as long as it works, it's okay, I guess, at least for the moment. And the workarounds are for Core Trust so that we can finally run the uh, binaries, but it relies on pretty much signing those binaries. So yeah, pretty much doing what Core Trust wants in the first place. But anyways, it works. And as you can see, it says in here that the uh, tweaks are finally running. Now, clearly not all tweaks, and there is a lot of testing that has to be done before this is released, but we are making huge progress and it's the first time we see tweaks running on iOS 12 with the Uncover. In this case, when this will be released, it will have full tweak support and of course Cydia. So that is actually great. If you remember, sorry, is behind all this as well. He helped a lot the Uncovered team and he updated his tools like Cydia and Substrate and so on to work with iOS 12 and of course with the Uncover, which is something great considering the fact that Sorik doesn't have a lot of time to begin with. The fact that he helped the uh, Jailbreak community and Uncover is actually something we should be thankful for. However, I would definitely recommend you to go ahead and save your blobs with TSS Saver by One Conan, available at tssaver.onecanon.com. All you have to do here is to plug in your device, get your ACID from iTunes, and of course it's in hexadecimal format, you're going to have to place it in here, select whatever device you have, or of course if it's an iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch or even Apple TV, and of course press submit and you would be able to save your blobs, which are very useful for downgrades in the future with Future Restore. Now downgrades are still possible with Future Restore right now if you have the blobs, and there are plenty of tutorials online on how to do that or how to use the tools, how to configure figure the IPSWs and so on. So yeah, if you want to downgrade with the blobs, you may still be able to go back to iOS 12.x and possibly even iOS 11.4.1, though don't quote me on that. Anyways, the most important thing is that you can pretty much upgrade to iOS 12 when a jailbreak comes out from whatever iOS version you're at. If you're running a version of iOS 10 or iOS 11 and you want better application support in the iOS 12, but you don't want to lose the opportunity to jailbreak. So yeah, in my opinion, it's a very important thing to save your blobs. As you can see, the iOS 12 jailbreak is definitely coming, tweaks are finally working, Cydia is finally working, which means it's a big achievement for the jailbreak community, and finally, we're very, very close for a final release of the Uncover for iOS 12. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated, we'll keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community. Till the next time, peace out.